Hi, my name is Chef Sriza from Bujaya University College, Kuala Lumpur. Today, I would like to show you guys how to make Malaysian curry puff by using Malaysian palm oil. To make the curry puffs, of course, we need the dough as a skin and also we need the filling. And then today, I will using the potato as a, our curry puff filling. Okay guys, for the first step to making the curry puff dough is preheat the Malaysian palm oil. So you should know that the Malaysian palm oil can stable at a high temperature and also can retain the crispiness of the curry puff skin. And as well, the Malaysian palm oil also can give in a neutral taste for the food. Alright, so I already heat up the Malaysian palm oil here. Okay, make sure it's completely hot before you pour over the wheat flour. So by using the whisk, you have to stir the flour well. Make sure you have to stir your flour together with the Malaysian palm oil. Just I heated just now and make it into a crumble like this. And then the next step, okay, you take two pinch of salt, sprinkle into this flour. Okay, so the next step, we have to put the water and make into dough. You have to put little by little. So, once they become a dough like this, so you have to wrap, okay, or maybe you can put a clean towel on top. And then you have to put inside the chiller at least for 20 minutes. Okay guys, for the next step, we make curry puff fillings. You have to heat up the Malaysia palm oil. As I mentioned before, Malaysia palm oil is very stable at a high temperature. We saute the onions. Put the ginger. And also, star anise and cinnamon stick. Let's continue serving. Okay guys, so one thing you should know about the Malaysian palm oil, okay? Malaysian palm oil also it does not oxidize easily by cooking. Okay, so the next step, I will put the curry powder. It's about two tablespoons and a little bit of water. Okay, so and then continue stirring. Okay, once you see the spices is enough cook, and then you can add the potatoes inside. You stir for a while, then you have to add more water to let the potatoes cook. So the next, I seasoned the fillings. Okay, white sugar, salt, and chicken powder. How to know that your filling is done? Okay, make sure it's potato absorbed all the liquid and then the potato is completely soft. And then, you just keep aside and then let them cool before you fold into the curry puff skin. Okay guys, for the next step, we fold in the curry puff. So, make sure your filling of the curry puff must be in room temperature. And then, your dough is come out from the chiller, it's still chill temperature. So, get some of the dough. Okay, it's about 15 grams and then you roll on your palm into the ball shapes okay, and then place on the chopping board. Okay, and then take your rolling pin and then you have to roll the dough. Place the filling in the middle of the dough. Fold it, bring forward. Okay, and then bring to your hand and then you have to press it at the edge of the curry puff. Folding it using your thumb. Okay, you press and then place your thumb behind the dough and then you bring forward and then press. So guys, we done our curry puff. And then we can start to fry our curry puff. Okay guys, to fry your curry puff, make sure your Malaysian palm oil is a medium heat temperature. Take your curry puff and slowly place your curry puff at the edge of the pot. Alright, so the reason why we cook the curry puff using a medium heat temperature is just make sure the curry puff is cooked evenly inside and outside. We don't want the curry puff outside is a brown color but the inside is not cooked. That's why we have to use the medium heat temperature for the oil. Okay, and then you have to slowly stirring the curry puff okay, to avoid the curry puff stick to the bottom of the pot. Okay, so once you see your curry puff is a golden colours, okay, so you can take it out from the oil and then place on the cooling rack. Okay guys, so this is our final product, curry puff cooked by Malaysian Palm Oil. So I hope you can try this recipe at home. It's very simple. See you again. Thank you.